Welcome back everyone, Top 10 Pokemon here, and I got a fire video for y'all. As you can see, I pulled out a few of my Charizard cards because today we will be going over the top 10 most difficult Charizards to get in PSA 10. Now what I actually mean by that is we'll be going over the lowest percentage PSA 10s of these Charizard cards in their total population reports. It just kind of sounds better to say top 10 most difficult Charizards to grade, you know? So each of these Charizard cards will be going over the total PSA population and the percentage of PSA 10s in that population. We're going to go over a ton of cards, including a few honorable mentions, so stay tuned till the end to see all these cards. Maybe you might learn a thing or two. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please give this video a like, and of course, as I always say, consider being a subscriber to this channel. It would greatly support me in many ways. Now, the one stipulation I had to making this list is that the Charizard card in question has to have at least 200 PSA graded copies in order to make this list. So with that being said, let's get started with our number 10 most difficult Charizard card to grade, and that is the first edition base holo Charizard. This card has 3,513 total graded copies by PSA, with only 121 of those achieving a PSA 10. It's crazy because over a year ago, there were only 120 PSA 10 copies of this card, and from then till now, only one has been added to the PSA 10 pop report. With a 3.5% PSA 10 hit rate, this Charizard right here is the number 10 most difficult one to get in gem mint condition. The number nine toughest Charizard card to grade is the Charizard G Level X Black Star promo card. This card only has 670 total PSA copies with only 17 of them achieving a PSA 10. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but I do believe the way this card was packaged in the tin, or however you got it back then, uh, sort of damaged it, making it really difficult to get a PSA 10 in this card, as it only has a 2.5% gem mint rate. The number eight lowest percentage PSA 10 Charizard on the list is the Cosmos Hollow from Legendary Treasures. This card only has 248 PSA copies, with only six of them worthy of the PSA 10 label. With a 2.4% PSA 10 rate, this is a very, very expensive graded card to get your hands on and the number eight on our list. The number seven most difficult Charizard to get in PSA 10 is the Boundaries Crossed Cosmos Holofoil Charizard card. This card also has a 2.4% gem mint rate with only 205 total graded copies by PSA and only five of them worthy of the PSA 10. Something about the Cosmos Holofoil that makes these cards much more difficult to grade than the regular holo patterns. And this card right here is the number seven on our list today. Coming in at number six is the ultra expensive, no rarity symbol Charizard Holo from the Japanese base set. This card only has 315 PSA copies with only six of those worthy of a gem mint 10. With a 2% PSA 10 rate, this card is phenomenally expensive. I can't even imagine how much it would go for right now as a PSA 10, and it is the number six toughest card to grade. Coming in at number five is actually a modern Charizard. If you looked at my other top 10 easiest Charizard cards to grade, most of those were actually modern Charizard cards. But this modern Charizard right here is very difficult to grade. It is the Charizard Hall of Oil from Evolution set. This card has a staggering 17,953 PSA copies. But out of all those cards graded, only 328 of them got a PSA 10 cert. With a 1.8% gem mint rate, this card might be the most difficult modern Charizard to grade, but is the number five toughest overall on our list. Coming in at number four is another Charizard card with a staggering amount of PSA examples. It is the unlimited base set Charizard Hollow, which has a total of 29,106 PSA copies. And out of all those copies, only 443 of them got the PSA 10, giving this card only a 1.5% PSA 10 hit rate. Getting down to the final three, we have another base set Charizard artwork in the Legendary Collection Holofoil card. This card has 923 total graded copies, only 13 of them achieving PSA 10 status giving this holo from Legendary Collections a 1.4% gem mint rate, making this card the number three on our list and a very, very expensive PSA 10 card. The number two toughest card to grade is the Base 2 Charizard Hollow Foil, which has 5,378 graded copies, only 56 of them getting a PSA 10 label, meaning that only 1% of all of the Base 2 Charizard cards graded got a 10. 
Before we get to our number one most difficult Charizard card to grade, let's go over a few very awesome honorable mention Zards. From EX Crystal Guardian set, we have the Charizard Hollow that has a total of 1,099 graded copies, only 73 of them getting a PSA 10. The extremely popular Gold Star Charizard card from EX Dragon Frontiers has a total of 1,659 copies graded, only 94 of them getting a Gem Mint 10. The Reverse Hollow from Legendary Collection didn't make the top 10 list, but here we have it at 1,191 total graded copies and only 76 of them getting a 10. The beautiful Stormfront Charizard Hollow has a total of 772 graded copies, only 46 of them getting the Gem Mint 10. The Unlimited Blaine's Charizard Hollow from Gym Challenge set has a total of 2,275 graded copies with only 131 of them getting a PSA 10. Last but not least, we have the Expedition Charizard Hollow, which has a total of 885 graded copies and merely 35 of those got a PSA 10. And the number one most difficult Charizard to grade, as far as percentages go, is the base set Shadowless Charizard Hollow. This card has a total of 5,497 graded copies by PSA, with only 56 of them achieving a PSA 10 gem mint label. Meaning that only 1% of all the base set Shadowless Hollow cards have gotten a PSA 10. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you learned something or at least found this video interesting with the pop reports and the percentages. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like I said, give this video a like. Check me out in my upcoming video. I'll be coming out real soon with it and I will see you all then. Thank you.